Today we've been invited to the Legacy at Lake Dunlap grand opening for Pulte Homes. The Retro Realtor team is going to show you what this place is like. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is beautiful. Holy cow. First thing out of the gate here, we got a little flex space. We have converted to a study. So you have a couple options here. You could either leave it wide open, um, do the, the study as you see here, or this can also be a fifth, fourth or fifth bedroom. That would convert this to a full bath now too, if you do the bedroom. Oh wow, pretty color scheme. So if you notice too, there's like a little niche back here. So that's where the closet wow. and everything would go. So the room would actually stay the same size. Gotcha. Are buyers left the option to leave that space open or? Um, so again, it just depends on whether they want to keep it. If they do the study, it'll stay open like this. If they do the bedroom, that's where the closet would go. That is yeah. awesome. This is huge. I mean, this is, this is as big as my current media room. This is awesome. I always like that we take a lot of time and effort into making space, like storage space. Uh -huh. So if you want to look through here, you'll notice this closet actually goes all the way down under the stairs even. So okay. try not to waste any space. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's part of the reason I picked my other house is because it had the under... The little Harry Potter closet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice big kitchen here. A lot of different ways you can configure it. Now, the basic layout will always stay the same. Um, but you have different appliance packages, countertop options, uh, cabinet colors, things like that. Is the backsplash coming standard? Um, you do get a backsplash standard. Now this is a slight upgraded one. My favorite options, it's called our convenience package. Mm -hmm. So it's a little add on to the kitchen. Right. And what it does, or to the cabinets. And so what that does is it's gonna give you some extra storage in the sense that you've got the little rollers. Sure. In most of the under cabinets. Wow. It will give you double garbage bins over here. And this is an upgrade or a standard? It is. It's um it's okay. called our convenience package. Convenience package. The other thing it'll do is like right here, instead of a traditional base cabinet, it gives you one bank of drawers. Uh-huh. And then over here. Um, we don't have it fully assembled, but you'll get double um, Lazy Susan here. So these actually spin. Oh, so are... <laughs> it, it gives you a lot more storage, basically. So is is the market coming coming back for Lazy Susans? Is that what I'm hearing? Um, I have a lot of people that <laughs> love this thing because it, do, it does truly like utilize that space. Instead of having to reach all the way back there, it's very convenient. That is freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. No, you're fine. Um... Wow, where to next? Um, yeah, so if you want to head this way, this mm -hmm. will take you right into the owner suite. This is probably our biggest owner suite as well. Um, this has got two closets, which is great. So right. this is actually your smaller closet. Smaller? Yes. <laughs> this is huge. Yes. This is. This is usually wow. the his closet. Um, we get our optional bay window here, which is really nice. Oh it kind of bumps goodness. everything out, gives you a fourth window. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love these bay windows. You can't go wrong with them. No. And I forgot to ask, what uh, floor plan is this? This one is called the Lexington. Lexington. Wow. Yeah. I love um, it. And then this is your owner suite. So again, a lot of different ways to configure this too. We did the freestanding tub with the separate shower. Um, that gives you the frameless glass, the mud set basin, and there's a lot of options to pick for that flooring as well. Um, you, nice. The included plan would come with your inset garden tub and a separate shower mm -hmm. um, at no cost. Then you have this option. You also have the full walk-in shower. So where you have no tub at all, it would oh. occupy this whole space. It would just be one big shower. When you say this whole, you're saying like the yeah, bathroom like tub combo? This whole space could be a big shower, with like a rain shower head, detachable shower. A lot of people like this setup, right? You know, sure. like, especially the, the females, they like to have that little makeup space. But if you did want some more space, what we do have an option for is raising this up so it's a solid countertop, and then you have two sets of drawers right here. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Yep. And, and then that's the slightly bigger closet. There's also an option to expand that, but I'll show you here in a minute. Instead of expanding it, we did what's called a pocket office. So Interesting. saw the office up front. Mm -hmm. And you know, since COVID, a lot more families, you know, a lot more people are working from home, of course. Right. So we're finding some people need two offices. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a small little office. It's really good for somebody that only works part-time at home, but I'll show you here shortly. It's really cool. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and so that's a new option we didn't used to have. Um, Cause this plan typically has almost a tandem garage. Really? So if you don't do the pocket office or that extended uh, closet in there, you have a really deep garage, mm -hmm. but even doing either one of those options is still leaves a little bit of storage space on that one side. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll show you over here. 
Um, on most of our plans, we have what's called the Pulte Planning Center, which is basically like a little computer niche, and that uh -huh. would normally go right here in this corner. Sure. Um, and what what you would see different, it would have like a little, at about the half wall way, right. like a little openings right here and here. Interesting. And then it would have the same matching countertop as the kitchen mm -hmm. um, with a base cabinet. So again, it's kind of like a little computer nook, and then you would enter hmm. from the back side. But we do have this option as well, which is what we did. So this is your included pantry right here, which is okay. a pretty good size. And you can see it kind of goes in there pretty deep. Sure, sure. Interesting. But okay. for somebody that does want more pantry space and doesn't need that cleaning center, you can opt for a second pantry. Okay. Ah, now this I could get used to. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, this is well thought out for the square footage. Here's the laundry right here so a good size laundry we can do sinks in there i was about to ask that yes and a lot of folks will leave the sink out and what i'll recommend to those folks is do a dedicated outlet because that's also a really good spot for a second refrigerator like a beverage refrigerator or something yeah yeah no kidding and then this is that pocket office i was talking about interesting okay <sighs> I would love this. I, I love the, the cozy offices, yeah. especially when I'm at home. This is awesome, dude. Well, and what I also kind of comment on it too is it's it's here towards the back of the home. So when you kind of get done with work at the end of the day, you can kind of leave it behind. You're not having to look at it. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is nice. What's this edition usually cost? Um, It's only a couple grand. Really? It's not too bad. Yeah. Hmm. Um, And then we can opt for the mud benches here as well. So yeah. this is kind of coming in from your garage. So. Good way to declutter, hang your clothes, your bags, kick your shoes off, stuff like that. Interesting. So this, this covers the whole main, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, so now I'll take you upstairs and show you the upstairs. Um, all the guest bedrooms are going to be really good size. So really? it's, it's a really well laid out upstairs as well. And like I said, we have a game room and as an option, we added the media up here as well. Sweet. And the media is really good size. It's, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I, I even love the way that they designed the stair, how they did that oversized step at the bottom. I just think yes. that is really, really pretty. Yeah, it's, it's pretty neat looking, right? Yeah. And so this is the included game room. Wow. Holy cow. Look, the game and the media are gonna have a nice little closet for like games and movies oh, that's big and what too. have you. Yeah, that's way big. Let's see. Yeah. Cool. And then there's the media. Hmm. And the cool thing, if you notice, we do wall sconces instead of ceiling lights. Uh huh. And the idea behind that, if you notice, there's also an outlet in the ceiling. So the idea is that oh. most people are gonna opt for a projector in here because you can go to a much bigger screen. Right. If we have lights up here, then that's obviously gonna block the projector. So this allows you to get that full throw of the projector. Mm -hmm. And a lot of folks will switch out to a dimmer switch, so you can just kind of lower these lights a little bit. Right. Yep. This is cool. Is this one of your favorite models, or uh, do you have yeah, a... Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Okay. And and so far, it's like been the, the crowd favorite, too. Everybody loves this plan. Yeah, this is pretty. What's this going for today? So, base price is only four forty nine. dollars um, The model's overdone a little bit at about six fifty. dollars Now... Sure. Um, I've been in this community for about three and a half months. I've sold four of this exact plan. They've all had the media room, pretty similar structural. Mm -hmm. Just scale back a little bit on the deco where it, to the point where you can almost not even tell the difference. Right. Um, and I've not had one person go over six. Really? Yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then our tax rate out here is only 1.422, so it's also super low. And then right this way, so if you do the media room, you also get this nice big storage closet here. So again, we're really good about okay. Heck yeah. storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's tall too. I really like that. Yes. Yeah, that's that's a great way to save some space. Absolutely. Um, and then right down this way, we've got four, uh, three bedrooms upstairs. This one we have set up to kind of demo some of our construction techniques. Sure. Um, this bedroom normally would have just this huge closet, but as an option, we opted for an ensuite. So, oh my goodness! That way, this is a great guest bedroom. Oh gives some people wow! Some privacy. <laughs> this is awesome. I was not expecting this today. Yeah, this is cool. And all of these bedrooms up here have walk-in closets too. Really? Yeah. So now it's a little bit smaller in this configuration. If you don't do that ensuite then this angled wall kind of disappears. So if you just kind of imagine a straight cross, that would all be a walk-in closet for this plan. 
if gotcha. you don't do the ensuite. But okay. a lot of people like the ensuite. Otherwise, there's only one bath up here. Sure. But I'll show you some a pretty unique feature about that one bath at least. Okay. Um, then here's your middle bedroom here. Again, walk in. Um, this one does have a window in it in the closet. Mm -hmm. um, it'll depend on the front facade whether that's the case or not. Sure. Cool. Yeah, I love the uh, window in the closet trend. Too. Since it's on the second floor, it's like you don't worry about the privacy. I actually like it. Right. Um, and then here's that full bath upstairs. So what I was going to comment on this, like, you know, a lot of folks, if they're if they want to keep the budget down a little bit and don't do opt for that ensuite bathroom over here, mm -hmm. you know, yes, you only have one bathroom for three bedrooms, but the fact that the toilet and the tub have their own separate door, somebody could be at the sink while somebody else is at the taking a shower or what have you. So you could at least have two people using it. Obviously, it's ideal if you had the second full bath up here, but if you don't right. want to opt for that, you at least have uh, some privacy in this bathroom for two people. Interesting. Good space. It is, yeah. And the dual vanity sink, is that standard? Um, it would be a single um, standard, but I believe it's got an extended countertop, and then you can opt for the double vanity. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, cool. And then you got your third bedroom back here, and again, another walk-in closet. And one of my biggest questions, are you guys outfitting anything for three car garages? Not, not in this community, um, just simply because to do that, we would need a wider lot. Right. Um, but again, like a couple plans like this one in the Moorville have somewhat of a tandem. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I wouldn't call it a true three car. If you did, this could easily fit two smaller cars on one side. Sure. Um, I wouldn't look at two bigger cars. I, I can't call it a three car technically, but it's probably a two and three quarters. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Like I see it late down lab. Yes. What makes that um, different from some of the other neighborhoods that are in here? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like we're, you know, we're the first, like luxury community on this side of 35. Sure. Um, you know, and just as an example, like we sell the same floor plans in Veramendi over on the other side of New Braunfels, but land cost is quite a bit more over there, tax rates quite a bit higher. So sure. it's kind of like you can get the same luxury homes over here at a much more affordable price. Mm -hmm. um, but then at the same time, we're gonna be one of the only communities that has lake access. Right. So this will, I'm still lo looking for information from the developer on the um, what all is gonna be included at that park. Mm -hmm. But we do have a park set aside that'll be right on Lake Dunlap. Gotcha. So that's very unique. Like I said, I live in Ellie Crossing. I know KB right next door. None of those neighborhoods you can get to the lake. So sure. here we can. So that's gonna be very unique. So today we're doing the unveiling of the park. Is that right? Am I saying that right? Um, or I don't different? know that we are today. Or so maybe just a grand opening for the just neighborhood. Just kind of a grand opening, okay. yes. Yes, absolutely.